Hi everyone, I'm Laurenzio, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Madden NFL games for the Nintendo Wii. Madden NFL 2007 is an interesting piece of game. It's the same Madden NFL game, but with adapted controls to fit the Wii mode. The controls are interesting. They aren't bad, but they are hard to master. That way, every match can make you sweat. As game modes, you get a franchise mode, a fantasy draft, an NFL superstar mode where you start as a nobody and work up your way to the Hall of Fame, and you also get mini games. If you're an NFL video game fan and have a Wii, it's definitely worth checking out the game. It engages you way more than playing with a standard controller, and over the great controls comes a solid gameplay, totaling a marvelous experience that can be reproduced by anything as the Wii is a unique console with unique controls. Madden NFL 2008 has the same great feel and it even has a new game mode, the party mode, where just like the name says, you engage in football themed party games. You also get a front office mode that lets you control the ins and outs of your franchise, you can hire coaches or edit the looks of your stadium, also you get a defensive playmaker option on the Wii 2, it's dumped down and simplified, but you get it. And having this option, the game gets way more depth than in NFL 2007. Madden NFL 2009 All Play, even if it looks graphically downgraded, and it is, I don't know why they couldn't continue with the game imitating reality, is actually a pretty okay game, in spite of the looks. Also, as game modes, it's more complete. You get the mini games from NFL 2007 and the party mode from 2008, there are also some sort of enhanced playmaker controls, and these are optional, they are cool, letting you develop plays on the run. And you can also play 5 on 5, and in the call your shots game mode you develop strategies and have to draw on the screen with the Wii modes, and it's cool to, well, draw strategies. Madden NFL 2010 strays away even further from the realistic look and has this weird Android game-like character models. The game was focused to be easier to pick up by anyone, make it more accessible. The momentum system from NFL 2009 is gone and the game seems to be focused more on the online than on the single player. But in single player you get the showdown mode, which is a new mode where you can select from different ways to play. In this mode you can bet how many, for example, how's going, who's going to have more passing plays or have more time of possession. You also have a mode where a second player can point at opposing players making them fall so that you can run freely to land a touchdown. The features are cool. Madden NFL 11 brings the game flow feature, which is terrible, and if you turn it off you will be able to access only 16 of the total number of 300 plays in the game. Other than that, the franchise mode is revamped and the rosters have been updated. It's still a solid game even if it doesn't bring that many novelties or hardly novelties or good stuff new. But yeah, it's still a solid game. It's bad only if you compare it with the other ones. NFL 12 is solid, but it doesn't bring novelties. I mean, the updated roster and the support for the classic controller aren't novelties enough to poop out another game. Other novelties include achievements in a Wii game and the difficulty has been lowered, making the game easier. As I said, it's still a solid game, having a good wealth of game modes. It becomes bad only when compared to the past iterations. Madden NFL 13 has some features cut out, the online multiplayer. So if you get this game, you actually get fewer content than in the previous game. But at least you get updated rosters. Yeah, but other than that, the game still remains solid. It's bad only if you compare it with the other iterations. 